Hi, welcome to Auntie Nip's Crochet. Today I'm gonna make a tiny carrot, a small tiny carrot just for my army gurumi. I'm gonna use a orange color yarn and a green color yarn. I'm gonna use a 3mm hook and if you can you get a marker. This carrot you do not need stopping because it's very tiny. So we're gonna start by making a magic ring. Inside the magic ring, you make six single crochet. Six single crochet. And then for row two to row three or four, depending how long you want your carrot to be, these few rows you just do single crochet all around. There's no increase because it's going to be a carrot. It's not going to increase. It's going to shrink at the bottom. So one, two. Three, four, five, six. Because we started with six, now we do a single crochet all around. So you're gonna get six stitches all around. You fold it inwards like this, so that it's easier to crochet. I'm gonna do one more round. This now was row 2, now row 3. If you want your carrot to be longer, you can do one more row. Better add a marker. If not, I, I might get carried away. <laughs> so this is where I start, so I know where I'm going to stop. Okay, now before I continue, I want to do the green part first before I start to seal here and shrink here. You see the uh, magic ring part? I'm gonna put my hook inside here. I'm gonna pull a yarn, the green color yarn over. And you see the, uh, the tail? From the magic ring, the orange color tail from the magic ring. I tie a knot. Okay, I tie a knot, and I have one green part here to work with. You can go through one of these one of these sub single crochet chain two slip stitch to the first one and you will grab one leaf and you will slip stitch to one of these it's kind of difficult because it's too tight. Okay, you slip stitch to it. And then you chain two. Oops, sorry. Chain two. And you slip stitch again. And you just slip stitch to any one of these. Oops. 
foot. I gotta get a get a needle to help me. Kinda loosen up. I'm gonna slip stitch and that's it. And cut the yarn. The dangling part here, I put it back inside the carrot through that hole in the middle. I pull it back, and this leaf here will cover up the hole. And same thing, the green part here, a leftover yarn, tie a knot. And if possible, if there's space, enough space, hide all of it inside the carrot. So that's why you do not need stuffing the yarn itself at stuff for you. Okay. If it's too much, because it's a tiny carrot, you can cut away some of it. Be careful when you cut. <laughs> Don't cut the wrong rope, don't cut the wrong yarn. Push it inside so that it's easier to sew, to crochet. Now you have the green part. Okay, from now onwards, I'm going to skip one and do single crochet on the rest. So you continue, skip one, single crochet on the rest. So when we started, we have six single crochet. Now I'm gonna skip this one. So here I'm gonna have five. So after five, next one, we're going to skip this one, skip, now we're going to have four. And the last one, I'm going to skip this one. So I'm going to have about one or two. And this could be the end. Oops. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, this could be the end. You leave a long tail for sewing. So no worry, the written pattern will be in my blog. I'll share in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So here I have it, my tiny carrot.